analysts give businesses and people recommendations on how to invest their money. Today, John Macris, a certified CPA, is showing us what it takes to help clients plan for their future. And he's starting with me. If I were a client and I just came in to meet with you today, what would we do? <laughs> the first thing we would do is sit down and, and do a profile because I want to get to know you uh, so that I know what to do for you. Analysts gather information on their clients' finances and goals to set up a tailored financial plan. That plan is based on the client's need for return on their investment and how much money they are willing to risk. So do you have a typical day? No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so every day is different. Yeah, no, there really is no such thing as a typical day because it, it is my practice. It's, it's not only being a financial advisor uh, or being a certified public accountant, but it's running a business. There's a lot of skill that goes into it as far as knowledge of the profession, um, how to put somebody's portfolio together, how to plan for somebody, uh, but also uh, other skills are uh, uh, you know, the, the ability to get along and communicate with people. Most companies require financial analysts to have at least a bachelor's degree in finance, business administration, accounting, statistics, or economics. On top of that, you'll need several different licenses. You can get a Series 6 license that gives you the ability to sell mutual funds. A Series 7 gives you the ability to sell stocks, bonds, uh, a wide variety of investments. Macris says financial analysts have to stay up to date on rules and regulations. That means continuing education is a must. As a financial planner, uh, I have to have 25 hours every two years, so a lot, of, a lot of studying and a lot of keeping up with your certifications. More than two out of five analysts work in finance and insurance industries, including banks and credit institutions and insurance carriers. The, the outlook for financial planners uh, has been very, very good. I think listed in the top uh, five or ten professions. Uh, for college graduates and for the years to come, maybe 10, 15 years into the future. That's because the number of jobs for financial analysts is growing and starting pay for college graduates is very rewarding. They could expect to uh, look at maybe a forty to $50,000 a year income um, at uh, maybe a little bit above an entry level. Uh, and then really it just depends on that person's ability what they do. It's, it's, a, it's a commission or a fee-based business, so it really depends on your level of, of business clientele. That's right, yeah. So, if you like working with numbers and helping people invest in their future, then a career in financial analysis could be right for you. For it was a pleasure to meet with you. This is your financial plan. Cool. So take this home, review it. If you have any questions, please give a call. Okay. And I'm excited about working with you. Me too. Thank you so much, John. Thank you. Bye. Have a great day. You too.